providence. It means the protective care of God in order to accomplish His will. Hi, I'm Squeals. I grew up in Houston with my parents and my one older sister. I grew up in the church and so I've always been really comfortable around the Christian culture, but life at home was turbulent because my mom was an alcoholic ever since I was young. So my parents ended up getting a divorce when I was in the third grade. My dad raised me from third grade on and he is wonderful and my very best friend um, and did his absolute best to give me a happy childhood. But I still felt the ache and pain and absence of my mom and I begged God every single day for him to put a stepmom in my life or a woman that would take interest in me and, and love me. I grew up going to camp every summer and it was in middle school, I went to Camp Travis and I was sitting around a campfire with all the girls in my cabin and we were sharing one at a time just about our lives and our struggles. And I sat there and I listened to every single girl in my cabin share about how frustrated they were with their moms and how they fought with them all the time. So when it was my turn to share, I begged those girls to see their mom as a, as a gift from the Lord. Um, I told them that I would give anything to have a mom uh, in my life, even one to fight with. And it was through that um, that the Lord began to reveal to me His providence because every single girl in my cabin approached me that week and told me that they had learned more from me that night than they had all week at camp. And it was in high school that I also had the opportunity to, to write my story in a devotional book. And the response I received from girls and from women that read it was amazing. And it was just the Lord proving Himself faithful that He was using my pain for purpose. So I went up to college and my freshman year was awesome. I grew a ton and I learned things about the Lord that I had never known and it was incredible. It was during February of my freshman year that I received the news that my mom had suddenly passed away from her alcoholism. Two months later, I met a lady who um, I became really, really close friends with pretty quickly because she had lost her mom just a couple years previous to alcoholism as well. She taught me that my greatest need has never been my mom, but it's always been Jesus. She wasn't the only lady that I learned from through college. The Lord was faithful and gave me like five or six spiritual moms that came into my life, invested in me, and loved me like I was their daughter. And truly, my greatest testimony of God's faithfulness, apart from His Son, is the fact that I have so many women in my life that I consider to be mom figures. I even have a wonderful stepmom that I love dearly. Now I get to be the older women to other girls and I get to continue to see my story bring glory to the Lord and, and it brings me joy.